Hello again, welcome back to The Dirty Shop. Today I'm at the elevator to do a uh, inspection and to change out a couple parts and I'm gonna add a safety onto it because a lot of people commented they didn't like that it didn't have a safety and I also was not a huge fan of that but uh, I didn't have anything at the time and I wasn't really worried about it anyways because the actual height on this is, the, the total height here is about six feet. This is the floor right here and I'm 5'11". And so I'm right there at that. So the total height is six feet. The, the max drop on this could ever have would be about six feet. So I'm not too worried about it falling anyways. Uh, it's got quite a bit of uh, extra power to lift that cage. Uh, so it's not really a big issue to, in my mind, but I am gonna put a safety on it anyways. Just, you never know, right? So uh, I've come to do an inspection on it. I wanna look at it. It's running fine. It's still a little bit noisy. And I think it's mostly because of that cable. And I don't really like that cable. Uh, the steel cable, I mentioned that in the first video. So I bought a fiber cable to replace it with. It's quite a bit larger so that it'll have some good power, uh, good strength to weight ratio on these. This cable is pretty awesome. And so I'm gonna use this fiber cable and it will hopefully wrap a little smoother on that pulley and to give me a smoother run up and down. And for a safety, I've got a seat belt off the car, okay? And these seat belts, have an auto lock on them, so they'll pull out slow, and then they'll they'll jam solid lock if it starts moving too fast, and they're quite strong. So I'm gonna put this on here as a uh, safety in case something breaks and it starts to fall. This will catch it and stop it where it's at. It won't lower them down slow, but at least it'll stop it and nobody will get injured. Uh, they just might be mildly stuck uh, depending on where they're at. But like I said, it's only a three foot difference either side, so the odds are you're going to be either close to the landing or close to the floor. So that's what I'm going to do. I probably should have cut the stupid seat belt parts off of it, but uh, I was kind of in a hurry. So here we go. Warning, this video may contain scenes of extreme untidiness. Viewer discretion is advised. So the first thing I gotta do is gotta get this old cable off and replace it with that new one. So there's a lot more cable on this spool than I'm using for this lift. And I think that's part of the reason that it's rolling over itself as badly as it is. So I'm going to uh, pull all this cable off and see if we can get it off the system. Okay. You made my hands all greasy. Well, I'm sorry, you want air? Okay, I'm finally back on this project. I had to wait a couple days because uh, the original snatch block that I had on here, uh, I didn't really like for this new rope. It had a thin pulley for that thinner cable and so I had to go get a new snatch block. So I've got myself a new one here, 2,000 pound snatch block, plenty of lift for this thing. Um, and I had another one, but I think it's too big. <laughs> it's not gonna work very well. So I'm gonna remount this snatch block on top and then we're gonna uh, hang this new fiber rope. That is so much smoother than the original cable that was on there. The, the rope that I bought was about twice as big as the cable was. Uh, let's see, I'll check the diameter. Um, I think I bought, I bought what they call quarter inch on this blue rope, uh, but it's um, a lot bigger diameter than quarter inch. Feels like almost three eighths to me. So I don't know how they measure this stuff, but either way, uh, it's like a, 20,000 pound rope, so it's super, super strong. I got a bigger, better pulley on top now, and it runs on there a lot smoother. And I ended up with twice as much rope as I needed, so now I got some stuff for some other project, which is always sweet. Now I'm gonna put on my seat belt safety. So I've got this old seat belt here, 
and you can see under this cover, see these, uh, the seat belts have a, a lock on them that keeps them from winding out, right? Um, and they have an inertial lock. See this thing with the ball bearing right there? I'm gonna take that out, because uh, otherwise I don't, unless I mount it just perfectly, it's not gonna work for me. So I gotta pull this out. I found this out the hard way. It took me a while to figure it out. There we go. So I've taken that little thing out of there. And now it just has um, just the flywheel lock on it. I think. Come on. I had it working before. There it is. All right. So see now it should run run smoothly up and down with the elevator, and if you pull fast, it'll lock. See that? Run smooth, lock. So if the elevator breaks, something snaps, this will key in and lock that elevator in place as a safety. It's the best safety I could come up with. It was going to be strong and uh, fairly reliable. Obviously, these have to be rated for vehicle use, and I've taken out some of the safety equipment for it, but the part that I want is still in there, right? So make sure whichever one you get, you can make it lock up every time because sometimes they get gummy and weird. All right, so now that I know what this is, I think the reason it was jamming there on me is I had too much of the, of the belt out or into the pulley. I like that, okay. So we're gonna bolt this onto one end. We're gonna bolt this up on top so it's out of the way. And I probably should have cut these pieces off in the shop, but uh, that's fine. Make it work. <laughs> Bring sharp drill bits. Note to self. It's terrible. I've got grade five, man, this, there we go. I've got grade five bolts. You can tell a graded bolt by the lines on the back, see that? It's got a much higher shear strength than a standard bolt. So. So as you can see, there's just some loose belt here, um, and I obviously want that to wind in. So uh, what I've got here is a 7 16 bolt uh, wrapped around a double 2x6 beam right near the 2x4, so it's the maximized strength. Um, and then I've got my new pulley there, which is just slightly longer than the original pulley, so I'm going to have to adjust this uh, stop hair, I think. Uh, but as it is, it's actually quite fine, um, it, but it could just be about a half an inch more lift. There's a little bit of a... A little bit of a lift down by the foot of the thing, but it's not really an issue. Um, but I'm gonna loosen this up and I'm gonna just wrap the, the pulley around, the strapping around here a couple times until it's, uh, until it's tight. All right, test run. Sorry the lighting is bad in this video. Not a lot of light in this garage. <laughs> I think that that will help a lot. Uh, it increases the safety by a lot, having a stop like that. Um, and uh, I think I'm pretty much done. I'm gonna grease these tracks, and I'm pretty happy with the new improvements on this. I think it'll make it a better system, a uh, longer lasting system, which is good, and uh, some increased safety. 
So uh, pretty good setup and um, I like it. Now that I've got this all, or uh, now that I had this all put together, um, oh, my, my pinks are a little cheek. I mean, my cheeks are a little pink. I got a little sun yesterday on a, on a fishing trip and that'll be on my other channel. I went down to the Delta, fished some stripers. It's pretty awesome. But uh, otherwise, um, I look like a clown. I might be a clown. But I decided that while I was looking at this thing, inspecting it, making sure everything was right, I wanted to look at the internal gears in this winch to make sure that they're not bad. Because uh, uh, if they were wearing out, that would that would be a sign that this is a not a very good winch to use on this and that it, it would be breaking pretty quick. I don't want the gears to strip because that's the most likely failure point in my mind. So um, if you could see here, uh, do you just pull out these bolts all in here and you can lift this straight off like that. You can see this is the gear train here, the little gear racks, and all the gears look very good. They're nicely greased. They don't look worn at all, but I'm going to even throw some extra grease on them because uh, I've got it and why not? So that, those look good there. And then oh, there goes one of my screws. And those gears also look good. There's plenty of grease in there, so I'm pretty happy about that. So I'm going to reassemble this and put it all back together and I'm going to be done. Well, there you go. The elevator update is done. Everything looks great after uh, quite a few months of use here. And I'm pretty happy with the way it was. Uh, the new system is probably twice as strong, at least as it was. The gears inside the machine look great. Plenty of grease in there. They're, they're running smooth. The new rope runs a lot smoother than the old one. Doesn't, uh, doesn't roll over itself as badly as it did before. And uh, so overall, I'm pretty happy with my build and I feel pretty confident about its safety. Um, I'm sure that other people will be able to tell me how I could have done it better or um, where I could make improvements. So uh, don't hesitate to do so. And uh, I'm always learning. I'm just always learning, playing a new game. So uh, in order to celebrate my success and because I really wanted to, stopped here at uh, Snowshoe Brewing here in Arnold. Uh, it's one of the older breweries and uh, it's been around a long time. I remember going here when I was really young, um, you know, and eating prior to me being old enough to drink. But uh, they make good beer and they're right here in this beautiful spot. I'm gonna have a quiet pint and a snack, and then I'm going to head on home. Thank you for watching The Dirty Shop. I'll see you next time.